breaking news. The insurmountable insecurity dilemma that is claiming the lives and property of innocent Nigerians almost every day for decades is frighteningly very distressing. Nigerians have begun to lose trust in you. Before being voted into power, you had assuredly stated that you will put a stop to the long and abhorrent insecurity. Alas, the situation has remained unchanged, rather it has erupted suddenly like a wide fire. Nigerians believe that by the time you are sworn in as the president of Nigeria, all these catastrophes will be tackled. This is because the promises you made during your politicking built trust in Nigerians. But annoyingly, it has now been revealed that you are not well prepared for leadership or that you have lost your administrative blueprint and decades of experience as a former military general. Sir, no individual would in his right senses expect or even foresee the annoying unfolding scenario in your regime. On Thursday, February 26, 2015, at Chaham House in London, pledged to defeat Boko Haram, insurgents and other criminal groups. She charged that if the then President Goodluck Jonathan had deployed the same resources in fighting Boko Haram as it had for political ends, the Nigerian army would have rescued the more, you know, they would have rescued the more than 270 school girls adopted by the extremist movement in Chipok, local government area of Borno State. The insurmountable security dilemma that is claiming the lives and property of innocent Nigerians almost every day for decades is frighteningly very distressing. Nigerians have begun to lose trust in you. Before you were voted into power, you had assuredly stated that you will put a stop to the long and abhorrent insecurity. Sir, I am sure you are fully aware that the killing and kidnapping of Nigerians almost daily. This ruthless fellows, that is the bandits, have now turned patriotic Nigerians into sleeping with one eye open for the fear of being gruesomely killed and attacked by these unpatriotic and salacious humans. No rational father would have peace of mind while his children are atrociously killed. Notwithstanding, it's now clear that this bloodthirsty bandit don't understand any other language than that of fire for fire. However, considering their day-to-day -day unlawful operations, they don't want to give up until they are awfully and massively defeated. The government, in collaboration with other sub-security units from various states within the Federation, should take decisive action against those who are traumatizing the people as their primary priority. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to this plain development? We would like you to let us know your thoughts to this. We've just heard about the present situation of things in Nigeria that is claiming lives and properties of innocent Nigerians almost every day for decades. And this is, you know, frighteningly very distressing. People have, you know, have begun to lose trust in President Muhammad Buhari because before he was voted into power, he had assuredly stated that he would put a stop 
to the long and abhorrent insecurity but what we are seeing now is totally you know another thing the situation has changed instead of the you know the insecurity in nigeria to reduce it has erupted suddenly just like a wide fire what is your thoughts to this people now start to wonder is this man truly a former military leader what is your thoughts to this we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this we would like you to share your reaction but before we go let's people's reaction and know their thoughts about this let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria Conwell it will be reacted to this and said right from the first day he was known as an analog military head of state and not digital he has exhausted his brain long ago it's quite unfortunate what is your thoughts to this that president Muhammad Buhari has you know exhausted his brain long ago hardly can he even you know remember or what you know he does during his military life what is your thoughts to this ajala has also reacted and said yes he was a former military general he retired and forgot about everything in military and now he's a democrat what do you want him to do baba has exhausted his brain long ago he hardly remember things that happened during his military life is hold maybe you want him to borrow a uniform and pick up a rifle no baba cannot do that it's too late baba needs some rest maybe we should just give him some credits that is what ajalas have said what is your thought to this what kind of credit do you want to give to an old man who has promised and failed what is your own reaction to this? Let him step aside because he has become the shadow of him know, of his old self. That was what Apostle Raphael Easy have said. We have had different reactions from different people. We would like you also to let us know your thoughts to this. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this present situation of things. He said we made a mistake in voting in President Muhammad Buhari into the presidential seat. He never wanted it, but because he already promised to overcome the insecurity and the Boko Haram adoption, different things happening. That was why people voted for him. And now it is now obvious to us that he's incapacitated. He has no IQ. His IQ is very low to help Nigeria out of this present situation. We would like you to let us know your own thoughts to this. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this present situation. Don't forget that concerning the present situation of things, people have started to doubt President Muhammad Buhari saying, Are you really a former military leader? We would like you to let us know your thoughts to this. Thank you guys for listening. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news.